Let's discuss about Power BI's calculate function and the expanded table concept. I have therefore created a small Excel file to help with this. These are all the columns that exist in the model, so what you'll find here essentially represents all of them. As you can see, some of them have dots since there are simply too many of them. However, the purpose of this is to describe each table that we have in the model in terms of its columns. So, as an illustration, you can see that this is an employee's table where the columns are name, surname, ID, team in country, and if we return to our model, we have an employee's table with exactly those columns in here if I select this option here and look at a model here. The same is true for the other columns, such as the suppliers table, in that they are available here. We have three options in this place, and if I use Excel as an example, we have three columns for the dates column as a group. I just did not include them all because there were simply too many, both for the orders table and for those columns in general. But perhaps the concept is clear. You can now see how each of those tables is a component of the model and how crucial it is that we have relationships when we return to the model. There are relationships between one side and many side, so one to star is also the filter direction. The arrow in this case denotes that. Therefore, rather than using the orders table to filter the employees table, we are actually doing the reverse. Additionally, this is true for the dates table as well. The dates table and the suppliers table are both filtering the orders table in some way. But since there is no relationship between tables like employees table and supplies table, I am unable to filter the suppliers table using my employees table. However, this is not possible at the moment because the filter only functions from the table above, or more specifically, from the one side to the many side to the table below. And this is sort of implied, or at least what I'm trying to suggest here. Because you can see all the tables here, including employees, suppliers, dates, and orders, we have columns in here for the table and these columns affect the orders table. The orders table is therefore linked to each of them on the many side and is thus impacted by each of the columns from the employees table and the same is true for each of the columns from the suppliers table here, as well as the columns from the dates table, and of course if you filter directly from the orders table, so from the other columns in the orders table, yes of course it's also affecting the order table. This table concept has it as its foundation. Let's now examine this in more detail. Return to our view in this case and try this perhaps with the employees themselves. Therefore, if I click on the plus symbol here, I will build a new table so that I can move with my employees. Go ahead and enter the employee names here. So mark the employee names in that manner. Then Andrew and all the other employee names may be seen. To help you see that better, let's simply enlarge this. It will go to the values section here, and I've just made the text to size 15, say. Then we see all of our employees, and we are ready to go. Let's use total sales once more if we want to see any form of measure in this case. Thus, I hope you won't become weary of hearing it, but this is the field I have. So I'll choose this option here and I would see the total sales now, as the total sales too are also coming from the orders table, and since the employees table is linked to the orders table, this filtering the order table, and that's why we see here the total sales for each employee that have been filtered and here the total sales. So it functions flawlessly. Instead, let's use the all function and calculate to ignore the external filter context as we are aware of how to do this. Now that we are aware of how that operates, let me right click on orders table and let's go along quickly. Let's put it this way. The calculate function is equal to the total employee sales. Then an expression is required. Here, 
the term total sales is used. If you choose, we can alternatively use total sales. Here, we utilize the total sales and then I say all, referring to the employees table and utilizing the all function as a filter. I'd want to see the employee name for this one in the employees table OK. Therefore, I am unable to proceed in this manner. Thus, it's simply a repeat of what we did previously, but this time I actually delete the filter function and use the all function here directly so that it can return a table. This is what happens when we apply filter because, as you may recall, the first argument of the filter function is a table, and we have previously utilized all of the function with a column. As a result, the filter returns a table above uses the all function. On the other side, this is one use case of the all function. This is basically a modifier, much like we've seen with the utilize relationship. If we skip the filter in this case and just utilize the all function directly within the calculate statement. As a result, even if it assists with or returns a table in this case, it is actually operating as a modifier this time. You can refer to it in this fashion, and it functions exactly the same way. In other words, we wish to evaluate an expression, and in this case, using the all function, the modified context simply uses all of the employee names. Then we can close this parenthesis here and press enter. If we look at the results, we can see that we get 1.35 million everywhere if I choose this option here and use our employee sales, which are indicated by total employee sales there. As of right now, everything is going as expected. What if I now filter the data by using a different column from the employees table? Let's carry that out. Let's stick with employees table for the moment. I can scroll up and find an office country as well, so I can click anywhere on a blank screen and choose office country from there. The office countries would then be evident to me here. I use those two since I would want to think of this as a table for the time being. Naturally, I also increase the size here to 15. To acquire the UK and USA in my example, Let's just scroll down and increase the size of 15 here. So let's visualize the total sales thing first, which is what I might like to see here. Let's use total sales as our measure. We would see total sales broken down by office country exactly as we would anticipate. What do you think will happen if we use the same measure that we calculated here, the total employees in this table? The total employees were employed. Now let's look at the measure that was taken to remove the filter context right from the employee name in this case. You will observe that I achieve the exact same outcomes as the normal total sales if I use the measure in my second table as I have done. If we return to our previous example, this is due to the all function being used in the calculate command. We essentially removed the filter from this specific column in the employees table for our all employee sales, but since there are other columns in the employees table, for instance the office country, the filter for office country has not yet been removed. This indicates that the orders table is still filtering based on the office country in this instance. Going back to the here, we can see that this is the reason why there is a split for the two different measures in this area, just as there is with the total sales. Therefore, the all employees name is essentially ignored because it isn't present in this context. Only office country is filtered by us, and this filter is still in effect. Of course, we could use all employees and then employee for the office country if we wanted to omit it. In this case, the office country column might be used. You might also use the complete table as a reference. That indicates that if you return to my Excel, if I wish to delete all filters from the employees table, it might have an impact on the orders table one last time. I only need to say complete table now. Therefore, 
if I use all employees instead of all employees, I may omit this specific column and just say complete table in that manner. And if I do this, you'll notice that I also see the number down there, in addition to the 1.35 million up there. We'll observe that the same number now appears here if I press enter. And the reason for this is that we have now removed all filters from the employees table that could have an impact on the total sales in this place. Regardless of whether it's office country down there or just the name here. What if we now use a filter of some sort, a external filter from another table here? So, for instance, if I go to my dates table in here and reduce this for the time being, I might use the year. In that case, my year column would show the year as an example. I choose this option, but I only want to use it as a slicer, I don't want to use it as a sum. I therefore choose the slicer here, and as you can see, I have my years now. Of course, you may change the slicer if you wish, for example, you can have it as a list if you choose. Let me just double check it and possibly make it a bit larger. For the time being, let's assume 15 for the text size here. Thus, our years and a blank are included in this sentence. However, for the time being, let's overlook the blank. The thought is to filter my data, in this case, depending on the dates now. So, let's say I'm looking at 2020. We can see that the total employee sales are impacted if I choose this option at this time. And the reason for this last time I promised is because if I go back to my Excel file here, now that we removed in our measure or the filters, which might come from employees table, it does not affect the other tables like this one here as well as this one. Therefore, if we use this date in this case, the year to filter our orders table, then it doesn't matter if there is no filter applied to employees because the orders will still be filtered. The year column from the dates table is still being filtered by in the orders table in this situation. In other words, even if we'll come back here, we removed all the filters from a specific table based on the expanded table concept, I attempted to describe it with an Excel file. Additional filters from other tables that are linked in the model may still be used, and the filtered data will still be returned. So. As we wrap up this final video, we want to leave you with a message. Keep spreading positivity, chasing your dreams, and embracing the beauty of life. Together, we can make the world a better place. See you in another video. Love and peace.